Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about Persian rugs and handmade carpets from around the world. I welcome you to our channel and I hope you and your family are doing well. In this video, I want to talk to you um, a little bit about silk carpets. In particular, I picked out two pieces because one of my viewers recently asked me, that he said, the question was, Mike, if I have a certain amount of money and I want to buy a very nice silk rug, I want something special to hang on a wall, what do you recommend? And the question was, he literally picked out these two carpets, which may not seem that they are... Um, that they really something that people ought to be comparing to each other because they are very distinct, very individual types of rugs. But in this video, I'm going to give you some of my personal insights. Um, we have a pure silk gom rug that is made by the Ahmadi family. And we have a genuine semi-antique Herike Aussie pack. So the question is, if I had, and these are basically roughly the same amount of money, if I had X amount of dollars, and if I had to choose between which one of the two I would hang on a wall, my answer would be obvious. And it is not what many of you are maybe thinking, but... In this video, I thought um, I made a similar video where I compared the Persian silk gom rugs to the Turkish herike. And these are two of what we consider to be some of the finest, best known pure silk handmade carpets in the world. There are, of course, other types, but when you talk about pure silk handmade carpets, you generally, the best known ones, Gom and the, Her the Turkish Herike. They are different the, in terms of how they are made, in terms of the type of silk, the quality work. There's a big differences between the two. But generally speaking, the people that enjoy these types of carpets it's not a question of, you know, there are some who say, Mike, my heart is in the Turkish rugs, or some who say, Mike, I want the Persian rugs. But then there are also a great number of people who say, Mike, you know what, we actually appreciate both. We like variety. If I'm going to have multiple carpets in the same house, or if I'm going to be out there collecting, because I do have a lot of my viewers, a lot of my subscribers on our channel, as well as clients at our website at mprugs.com, who are really into Persian rugs. And they say, Mike, you know what? We actually want variety. We don't want all of them to be the same. So in this video, I thought I'm going to point out to you two very well-known weaving workshops. You have the Ahmadi family, in Gom, which is one of the best known pure silk Gom rugs. And what is really important about it is, I want you to take a look at the close up of the signature. This is very important. Like many weavers, like a lot of the workshops in Iran, the Ahmadi family is highly known and respected, but it is also a signature that is oftentimes copied. Now you will see the elaborate nature of the signature, and like in this case, it says Bafte Iran Gom Ahmadi, which means weave. Iran Gom Ahmadi. This signature is somewhat unique. And people who are into Persian rugs, they immediately recognize the signature. This is a piece that has also approximately 900 knots per square inch. Very, very fine piece. 
100% handmade. Keep this in mind. Now, on the other one here, what looks almost like from the uh, distance, it looks almost like a little stamp. I'm just going to step aside here because, um, well, I'm going to put a picture. Actually, no. Let me go over here. Well, with the picture of it here, because this beautiful piece is a Turkish herike. And as you can see by the signature, this one is an Aussie pack. The Aussie pack, one of the best known, I mean, I can tell you this, amongst my clients who are into the Turkish Herike rugs, the Aussie pack name stands out. It's one of the workshops that was basically devastated by the influx of the cheaper Chinese imitation Herike rugs. Absolutely love the Aussie packs. The workmanship, the quality is just phenomenal. But in this particular case, you have a what is known as a 1313 quality. In Iran, the rugs are oftentimes referred to by quality. Sometimes they stay, actually, many of them have adopted, for example, what is known as a KPSI, knots per square inch. In Iran, they also go by knots per square meter, which tends to be kind of confusing. But what I like about, there's two things that, I, there's two measuring systems that I really like. And then you'll see what's so special about these two pieces. This piece, the Ahmadi has 900 knots per square inch, which means if you put a measuring tape on the back of the rug and you count the number of knots, you have 30 knots per inch. You square that number 30 times 30, you get right about 900. Well, this beautiful little piece, this gorgeous pictorial, and yes, have I told you that I really, really like this piece? Um, this one is a 1313 quality. So the GOM, 900 knots per square inch. Well, what does this mean, 1313 quality? If you were to count the number of knots, you will see that this little sweetheart has 13 knots per centimeter. And if you take 13 times 2.54, you basically have right about 30. That's 13 knots per centimeter, which translates into right about, well, 13 times 2.54, that's about 30 knots per inch. You square the number and guess what? This Aussie pack has about the same number of knots as the Ahmadi. So you have two very different types of rugs. Is it, are they compatible? Can you compare one with the other? Well, on the surface of it, you would say no. But actually, I'm looking at them and I say, you know what? Actually, yes, you can. Because you have a gom rug that is 900 knots per square inch. And these are made with what is known as a Persian knot. You have the Aussie pack, which also roughly 900 knots per square inch. But this one is made with what is known as a Turkish knot. The Turkish knot is a double knot. The gom rug has a Persian knot, which is a single knot. Here's where it gets also a little bit tricky. The herakes are a much finer type of silk. The thickness is half, less than half of what the gom rug is. So if you, and this is where, and this is where things get a little bit hairy. Um, being that my family is from, uh, my parents are from Iran, I was born and raised in Germany before I moved out to the States. And actually one of the questions that I've had, and I'm just gonna answer it real quick, um, 
I have talked, if you have watched my other videos, you know I have oftentimes made references to the fact that we're in a wholesale business. Um, we are located, actually, I'm doing this video here in Germany. Um, and the questions, of course, is, well, Mike, you always do the videos in English. Do you speak German? Und ja, ich kann auch Deutsch sprechen, aber natürlich, wenn ich Deutsch sprechen würde, würden meisten von euch mich nicht verstehen können. Deswegen mache ich die Videos auf Englisch. What the heck did I just say? I was just saying, yes, I do know how to speak German, but I don't do the videos because if I did, most of you would probably not understand what I'm saying or you guys would be relying on Google Translate or something. And so um, I do the videos in English. But that also, as you can tell, makes me a little bit of the odd figure in the family. Yes, I prefer speaking in English. Yes, I'm basically, as my friends have told me, that German is in my head. After all, this is where I was born and raised. Yes, I can speak Farsi, but having the different cultures in me, um, having the Persian DNA um, coupled together with the German education, and then what I like to call the American beauty, because I do consider myself to be American first. This is just my own personal choice. I can tell you that. Me personally, I love the Turkish hurricane. And there's nothing more than I love than to tell my Persian family how much I personally prefer the Turkish hurricanes over the Persian gomruks because that's just going to be starting an argument left and right. Here's what I can tell you. The Persian gomruks are better rugs they are more suited if you're going to be walking on it. If you are going to be looking at buying a rug and you want to, um, you want to literally uh, put it somewhere, it's going to be on the ground, I would honestly tell you, Gom is the way to go. If you're going to hang up a rug and you want a piece of art, you want home decor that you're going to say, wow, in my opinion, Turkish Herike. Now, the Herikes are in a league of their own. There's not a whole lot of other types of rugs that you can compare them to because of the way that they're made and all that. But, like I said, um, and this is why I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, some, uh, I told you, you may be surprised by which one of the two I would prefer. Because me personally, the clear winner of the two is this piece. Yes, I have a personal fetish for the Turkish Herike rugs. That is my own personal opinion. And only because, maybe it's because that German, Iranian, proud American in me has turned me into a stubborn mule. I'm going to go with what people don't expect. That's just who I am. So I wanted to show you two well-known pure silk carpet weaving workshops. One that is still making rugs. One that is unfortunately from days that have gone by several decades ago. Um, what I'm going to do is I always do. I'm going to get behind the camera. I'm going to feature some of the highlights and everything. But I wanted to, the point of the video was when I was asked which one of the two I would prefer. The best answer I can give you is if you're looking at buying a pure silk gom rug, it's not a question of, um, I'm sorry, a pure silk handmade rug. It's not a question of whether you should prefer a gom or Turkish Herike, it's really what it is that you want to do. Also, the thing is, um, the Herike rugs were at the time, the newer pieces I'm not impressed with. I like the older pieces. But in the old days, because of the cost, generally speaking, and I, again, you're looking at two rugs here, you can see how small this Turkish uh, Aussie pack is. Well, this Aussie pack is almost as much as this pure silk gom rug, which has got to be six times bigger. I mean, pound for pound, there is no comparison. 
the Aussie Peck is much more valuable. But I thought I'm going to show you two beautiful workshops, Iran, Turkey. It's really up to you as which one you prefer, but there is no right or wrong. It's just there are two very different types of rugs. So as I've always done is I'm going to get behind the camera and show you some of the beautiful features of the Ahmadi as well as the Aussie pack. And then I'm going to come back to you and say my final goodbyes. Again, as I've always done is if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. It helps us out. Also, I think I got the details of the rugs, the listings in the description below. It's why I always put a lot of information. Like I said, this is one of many videos where we have, especially if you are into the pure silk gome rugs or the Herake rugs, or because um, I've also made videos about the differences between the real ones and the fake ones and how you can tell which one is which. So feel free to check out the channel. And so, like I said, um, I've done my thing. I'm going to get behind the camera now, show you the details, and I'm going to come back to you later and say my goodbyes. Take care. So here I am again from behind the camera as always. I'm just going to start out with this beautiful Ahmadi piece. And like I said, this is what the genuine signature is all about. You can see it right there. Um, like I said, and as I mentioned to you earlier, I don't know how to read and write Iranian. I have, I think I mentioned it in some of the other videos. Do know how to speak a little bit of it, although it's pretty darn ghetto, as my family would say. This says, Bafta Iran Gom Ahmadi. Um, at least that is what I've been told by my um, uncle and cousin. And so this is what the genuine signature looks like. And you generally, like I said, um, it's unfortunately the kind of rug that is oftentimes copied. But generally speaking, you have an extremely, extremely fine piece. And in the, um, they make classical designs. Sometimes they also have um, the gombat design. It's just all kinds of different um, uh, design features. But um, generally speaking, the genuine Ahmadis, these are very, they tend to make very fine pieces. Um, as, I mean, as you saw in the picture earlier, like this piece has about 900 knots per square inch, um, which comes out to be about 30 knots per line, um, 30 knots per inch. And like I said, it's extremely, extremely fine pieces. Um, like I said, the pictures and everything, it's in the description below. These are really exceptional pieces. And so, um, but I, again, it's just as a comparison. So here's your Ahmadi. Then here is the Aussie pack. I believe I had featured this piece in one of um, other videos out there about the Heraki pieces. But again, I'm just going to... Um, show you guys the signature. It's just absolutely phenomenal. This is what the Herike Aussie Pack signature is all about. There you go. There it is. It's an extremely, extremely fine piece. Like I said, I'm zooming in and out of the camera here just so that you can see it. Um, these are the types of rugs that people hang on the walls. And I would definitely not recommend that you would put this on the floor. And also, I mean, these are extremely light pieces. We're talking about rugs here, like in this case, that weighs literally well less than a pound. It's, we're talking ounces here. And um, again, quality-wise, as I mentioned, as I showed you the picture earlier with the ruler, we're talking 1313 quality, and these are double knotted. I, it's just the detailing is just absolutely phenomenal. But like I said, I just wanted to show you these two pieces. So as always, I'm going to come back to you now with my final words. Also, the link to both pieces are in the description if you want to see more close-up pictures of them. 
Well, there was the video on our, well, pure silk rugs, Ahmadi versus Ozipak or Gom versus Herike. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have questions, put them in the comment section below or visit us at mprugs.com. I got many of you that like to email me. Also, if you have questions on, um, if you have questions about silk rug that you may have yourself, um, I have a lot of people who have been emailing me about the rugs that they're, um, that they own or that they inherited or something. And I have a video below. I have put, I, I'm going to be putting it in with every one of my videos. I'm the kind of person that I'm not just doing these videos. I love to hear from fellow rug fans. So if you are, if you have a question, please watch the video below. Um, in the description, there is the link. It shows you how I need the pictures. What do I need um, so that I can give you a quick answer as far as whether the rug you may have is handmade or not. And so, um, but it's really important because I'm getting a lot of feedback. I get a lot of questions from clients. I also have our own help. I help my family run our wholesale business, obviously, as well as myself with my website. So time is of the essence, but I always try to do my best to help out any viewer out there. And so um, all I ask is that you please watch the video below in the description is the link on how I need the pictures. And so what I can do is look at the pictures of the rug that you may have and get back to you right away with an answer. So I wish you and your family the very, very best. I look forward to coming back to you with more videos. So for um, goodbye for now, until we see each other again. Take care. Bye-bye.